Okay, hello everybody. Today we will look at Masaplot North, the dive site in Darwin. Now, in the center of the Philippines are the Visayas. The big island in the center of the Visayas is Negros. In its south is the diving mecca Darwin. Just south of Poblacion, downtown Darwin, is Masaplot North. You see the highway. It's near the Aquarius restaurant, which is an excellent restaurant, by the way. And you see the coastline. There's a little bunker boat, the white spot in the ocean near the dive site. How do you get there if you drive? You drive past downtown Darwin. I sped up this little drive, of course. It looks dangerous. It can actually be dangerous if you're not paying attention. So you drive past Poblacion, you drive past the cockfighting ring, you take a lift at the sign saying at Paris restaurant. There's a nice parking area, there's a shower, you, you pay 100 pesos for parking, there are steps through which you enter the beach and then you do a beach entry over a couple of rocks. Lovely dive site, it's also really nice to hang out if you come with your family. Now, so there's this seawall, the steps, you carefully enter through the rocks and then you can pretty much, in a meter and a half, you can start diving. There is seagrass on the right, there is a reef in very shallow water ready on the left. And there are two bigger reefs, deeper in the middle there is sand with a lot of good muck diving. Uh, here we see the shallow reef on the left lovely populations of surgeon fishes so mostly this MPA is well respected it's not fished and you see soft corals here quite typical for shallow reefs and a mixed fish fauna of the surgeon fishes wrasses lots of small goby splenies you see a goldfish you, you will see Moorish idols very rich fish fauna in the shallow water already. It's a mix between sandy areas and pommies with beautiful hard corals with large schools of chromis as on top. So this is what you see on the left side of the dive site. There's a hawkfish on the rock on the left. So you can visit this on your way in or on your way out. Uh, very well worth spending some time in the shallows on this dive. You see there's an anemone with an anemone fish, there are fusiliers visiting the shallows to get to a cleaner station. And this continues up until about six meters and then there's a drop. If you swim to the right there's this muck diving area without much coral growth but like so often in Darwin it's very interesting to look around in the sand. You will see things like this, there's a, a single crinoid with a school of newly hatched fish, there's an upside down jellyfish, all of this in this sandy area. The upside down jellyfish didn't have an accident. This is how these jellyfish live. They pump water through the tentacles from below. Cassiopeia is the scientific name. So on different days you will find different critters, but the sand here, like in many other places in Darwin, is very rich. This is a devil walkman fish or devil stinger fish which is a stone fish so it's highly venomous don't touch it but very interesting to watch these actually prefer to crawl instead of swimming i have a separate video for this fish i've linked to it at 50 meters in the middle of this sandy area there's this very unusual large anemone and the anemone is, is home to a lot of fish like you see this damsel fish around it and it, it doesn't have the typical anemone fish, but there's quite a population of cardinal fish in it too. Very beautiful tentacles, and you know, there's always something to discover. So if you swim to the left facing the ocean, there's a reef area. Standing out there is a very large sponge. Beautiful, this must be decades old, this animals. animal. It's probably a meter and a half in height so you see my dive body in comparison to this large sponge it's quite impressive really interesting to watch very rich population again of butterfly fish damselfish it's a good reef to dive at and to photograph and 
there is also a school of snappers and here at the you already see the end of that reef area and you see the sand quite rich also in races these fairy races are quite abundant there a lot of good material for the underwater photography you can see that some of the corals have been destroyed a little bit but mostly this reef is quite intact a lot of good macro this is a small goby of the genus trimmer so as usual if you dive slowly especially in Darwin you will, you will find a lot of interesting critters now, this is one of many species of gobies which you can find there so for underwater photographers bring your macro lens to this site there are nudibranchs as well a lot of different crustaceans and you know, these you will particularly see nicely at night now what else there are lots of shrimps now so this is on a species of bubble coral look for these you know gaudily colored shrimp of uh, several different species you will find around anemones on the tubes of the sand anemones on top of bubble corals uh, in the sand under crevices so Again, swim slowly, dive slowly, you will find a lot of stuff like that. So these are some foliate corals. This is the left side of the reef. Again, you can see that the fish diversity and fish biomass is quite high. Yeah, I am impressed by this dive site. There are usually not a lot of currents and if there are currents they will be in parallel to the shore so this is not very dangerous visibility on an average day would be 15 20 meters very nice vis you don't really have to worry about boat traffic here because the right side of this dive site is a marine protected area this is a little video of two lizard fish which are ambush which are their lion weight predators so i got a little bit too close to them with my camera so they decided to take off this is a slow motion and this is again the right side of the reef so you can see a lot of crinoids there you know, very rich in all kinds of invertebrates so this is a dive site which is really fine for anybody from a beginner to an advanced divers if you have a camera if you don't it's both a very enjoyable dive you have a little bit of both you have the reef you have the muck very interesting seagrass a good guide helps as i've mentioned before you can get there by car of course you can also get there by boat if you're diving with a dive shop enjoy the dive and see you next time Thank you.